A fallen Pennsylvania state trooper laid to rest today after being shot and killed in the line of duty. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 5. I'm Evan Hart, a forester. Hundreds gathered in Erie County today to honor the life of Trooper Jacques Rougeau Jr. The 29-year-old trooper was shot and killed in the line of duty on June 17th. He was responding to a shootout near Mifflintown in Juniata County on his day off. Trooper Rougeau is the 104th state trooper to make the ultimate sacrifice by giving his life to protect his community. And today he was remembered by family and friends, along with fellow members of the state police and Pennsylvania's governor. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz here now. And she has the latest. Yeah, Evan, and it was just an incredibly emotional and somber day. Trooper Rougeau, known as Jay by his family and colleagues, was originally from a small town in Erie County called Quarry. And so hundreds of people gathered about an hour away way in the city of Erie to remember his life, share stories, and most importantly, thank him for giving the ultimate sacrifice. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I love you, Jay. Thank you for being my everything. I knew that you would change the world, Jay Rougeau. I just never imagined that it would be like this. The widow of trooper Jacques Rougeau holding back tears in an emotional eulogy to her husband Tuesday morning. He ran toward gunfire on his day off. That's who Jay was, a protector, a hero. He loved basketball and Penn State football and was known for his infectious laugh and smile. Chloe and Jay were high school sweethearts, but had known each other kindergarten. since kindergarten. From playdates in elementary school to our first date in high school, he's always been a part of my life. Trooper Rojo's family and friends were surrounded by hundreds of others at the Bayfront Convention Center in Erie, including fellow members of the Pennsylvania State Police, who shared stories of a career that ended up being way too short. Speaking from the heart, I absolutely love this kid. He had every quality and capability all of us would want in a law enforcement officer, a spouse, a son, a brother, and a friend. The corporals even started calling him stealth fighter because of the way he conducted himself. He never wanted the attention put on him. Governor Josh Shapiro was there too to give his own condolences and honor the fallen trooper. And while 29 years on this earth was not enough, Jay left an indelible mark on all of us. We celebrate him as a hero today, but he has always been my hero. Me safe thus far. And this Thursday would have marked Trooper Rojo's three-year anniversary as a state trooper. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.